What's going on, guys? We're going to talk watch talk. We're going to talk personal service, right? There's a lot of ways to, uh, to purchase a watch. Everyone's busy. Everyone's this. Everyone's that. You want a nice style? You want it to, uh, to do some reliable business? I'm going to show you some watches. I'm going to show you some prices. But the most precious things here are my dear friend, Peter and Isabella, right? They know how to uh, do business and they'll be able to support. You got all three of us to support your watch transaction in a pleasant, convenient way in the Diamond District where I'm personally standing behind every purchase anybody uh, makes. So let's get right down to business. Isabella, pick a timepiece that you think is interesting from this collection. The one that catches my eye the most is this GMT Green 41 millimeter all gold watch right here. It's beautiful. It's actually discontinued now. Take a look at that. This one I could do for around 67K. Just come into the shop or you can call or text me or hit me on Instagram. All right, you could DM Isabella if you're interested in a green face GMT. Take a close look at this watch. This is a dope watch, 67,000. How much would this watch have been before the pandemic? 80,000. All right, so you're saying it's, it was 80,000 at the height of the pandemic? Is that what was going on? So this watch might have been around 80,000. It came down to 67. That's really what it is. You could check the prices. You could call Isabella and she'll work out a deal with you on that. Peter, what are you looking at? Well, me, I'm looking at this right here. You know, I got the little version. Got to step it up right. soon. Beautiful watch, gold investment piece. This is like one of the best watches I think you could go cop right here. And, and what millimeter is this guy right here? This is a 41 millimeter. Is this a 40? 40 or 41? 40 millimeter. 40, 40 this millimeter. is a 40 millimeter. The 41s are out there. I believe this is a 41. Or is it? It's hard to yeah, I think yeah, this is a forty one right here in the rose gold. Yes, right? that's the forty. And that's the forty right there, and it is forty four thousand dollars. A world away. These used to be eight, nine thousand dollars a piece back in the day before um uh, everything hit the fan. Now these are forty four. Again, prices are negotiable. You can hit them up, you can make a move, you can make it happen. The gold watches can't go wrong. Forty four, you could put a bezel on it, that's removable. You could not put a bezel on it, that's removable. Well, that's entirely up to you. Max, what's your favorite watch? Well, if I had to walk out of here with a watch and a timepiece for me to wear, right? Let's take a look at what the hell is going on in this box. I gotta pick a timepiece out of this box. I mean, you know, you I'd go with the, the you know, one of the expensive pieces. I wouldn't mind this yellow gold Submariner looking thing right here, you know? How much is this timepiece? This is another $44,000. It's, it's, it's a pretty dope piece, but to be honest, I like to go fast in cars. I like to race around, and I like this Daytona, right? That's beautiful, yeah. $47,000. If you take your time in business, you'll get nowhere. You got to move fast. You got to use the chronographs. <laughs> All right, so this one is around 47,000 all gold. I think that this was, I used to have a Daytona. It is what it is. Me personally, I wear a very simple date just with a, a, you know, machine setting diamonds so I could bang this around, you know, bang this all over the place. No diamonds are gonna fall out of here. And this is from Trax Tokyo, nice and light, not too expensive, not too flashy. I'm not trying to have people chase me around, trying to take my watch, trying to do this. I do it because I wear in the jewelry business. I like to wear something nice and subtle, mm -hmm. and that's the way I keep it. That's the way I want to keep my life. I don't need anybody greedily looking at my wrist, wondering how <laughs> much I paid or how great I am. I'll get to how great I am by educating the masses and uh, uh, straightening out the business in the Diamond District, making sure that's on point. You, on the other hand, you want to pop off a little bit, right? You want to sit here and you want to get something like this, 36 millimeter, match your Cuban collection. Yes, sir. I don't got my Cuban stuff on. I don't want to flow too much, but, you know, I got all the gold collection waiting to add this. Maybe my little one's going to grow up one day. It's going to be on my, on my I think this is a cute little wash right here. Yeah, you know, as a, as a gift for a lady friend. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, um, uh, this is only fifteen uh, around around $15,000 with the original Rolex dial. This could be a nice little collectible watch. You never know. In the future, smaller watches might be the trend again because mm -hmm. these trends are cyclical, and uh, that's what's going on. And then you have, you know, the everydays. If you want to start off in the Rolly world, what, what are these going for? Back in the day, they used to go for $2,500, $3,500. Now they're $5,500. That's today's prices. What, and this is a cool little dial right here. If you don't want the, the old school, you want some new school, this one is around 12 grand, okay? And again, you know, you hit them up, you could shop around, you could negotiate a better price. This is happening in the market, that's happening in the market. I don't really know. The only thing I could tell you personally is that when I do business, I don't want to do business with annoying uh, people. 
That is the, the the worst thing in the world. And some of the jewelers and some of the people out there are the nastiest, grimiest people. How you guys, some of those people, some of the rappers, somebody this, do business with them, I have no idea. You must be suckers. I have no fucking clue. All the watches are in the Diamond District. I do business with Peter. I do business with Isabella because they're pleasant people to do business with. If they're pleasant p people to do business with for me, they'll be so for you. You can hit them up. And you can make things happen. Some people you see me doing business with and don't do business with anymore is because they got greedy and they got stupid. And I wouldn't trust them with a dollar because you never know what hole they sink into. And then they use your money to climb out. I don't do that. I use my money to do what the hell I got to do in life. I don't sit here and grab on somebody's ankle and drag them down. Somebody might drag your ankle down. You know, some businesses have been going down to $400,000 watches, fake here, there. That's on you. You're the shopper. You're the consumer. Over here, you got a tray full of watches, just some of the, some of the standards, and you got people to do fantastic business with you. They're going to stand behind, and me to stand behind every transaction to make sure everything is on point. Because if someone's going to be commenting, oh, I, this happened, that happened, I'm going to sit there, I'm going to investigate the matter, I'm going to follow through. Let me tell you something right now. I've been doing business for 18 years in the Diamond District. Not a single human being out here is going to have that type of integrity. They all just want your money, and they want you to go off. That's not what I want. I want you to get a wash for a fair price so I can build a brand and a quality business. All right? So, another winner right here. Beautiful. Right? So, this guy with the Royal Oak is in the $80,000 with the blue face. Let's continue on. It's a discontinued model right here, and um, uh, you know, th there's all sorts of price action happening here because, again, the world is filled with greedy savages, and th the, what happened in the diamond district, so you understand, I heard this from Roman Scharf, people started selling watches, dealers started selling watches to dealers, holding, hoarding, driving up the price, and then the price went down 20%, 10%. I don't really know what's going on uh, uh, on that end. I don't care. You get a call, Isabella, you call Peter, you get a price quote, you call a second person and a third person. And if they're offering you $500 less and this and that, you better not have somebody sneak a link out of your watch or do some dirty other grimy shit. And if right. they do, that's on you because you were warned. And that's that, all right? There's plenty of time pieces here, but I don't have any time for games. Any, any last thoughts, Peter? <laughs> yeah, I have a last thought. Um, so all these watches you see here are plain Jane. But we would love to bust them down for you. Or you could buy a simple high-style bezel. All of these things are available in the store or on the chats or the DMs. Come see me personally. Come see Isabella. We're going to make it Shots happen for Isabella you. Plain or high style. All right, Isabella, any thoughts? Any uh, encouragement to the consumer? Yeah, I mean, we already, um, we also have, like, fully iced out watches, not just, you know, ones to be custom made. So um, you can check those out as well. You can just hit any of us up. We could show you. And yeah, as he said, like they start at five thousand dollars, so not everything needs to be a sixty thousand dollar watch. Um, we could really just handle whatever kind of budget you have. We have everything for you. All right, all right. Well, listen, you heard it here. This is the crew here at Tracks NYC. Hit us up, and we'll make it happen.